name is Harrison Lee. I come from the University of Hong Kong, majoring in nutrition. And today my topic will be to help you re-understand stress and eczema sometime. Drug addict, being in love with being controlled, being in pain all the time, and you do repeat it every day. One in seven of you fit this description. Don't be surprised. One in seven Hong Kongese suffer from eczema. Yes, you are a drug addict. You use steroids, and you depend on them to live, and you destroy your skin every night, and you feel good about it. All of this relates to stress. Here's how. Ladies and gentlemen, little kids too. When you don't know how to solve a mass problem, you stress. When you watch Ip Man, and you wing chun your friend, you stress. They bruise, that's the stress. Stress is our immune system natural mechanism against disequilibrium. If something unusual happens, let's just that, stress returns us to baseline via inflammation. Inflammation is initiated upon stress when your body sends proteins, chemicals, and all these fighter cells to the active site. For instance, your friend's bruised arm will turn purple. Imagine this balloon as inflammation. Initially, your friend's bruise will turn purple. It will grow bigger. But in a week or so, your cells repair. And this bubble will slowly decrease in size and disappear. Assuming you don't punch yourself every day. My question to you is, what if you do punch yourself every day, but in another form? What if your stress trigger remains? What if inflammation never stopped? Eczema is long-term inflammation causing autoimmunity. Simply, some mysterious triggers attack your body and your immune system overproduces immune fighter cells which circulates all around your body and you end up fighting yourselves. These immune fighter cells attack your body causing you a variety of problems such as flaky and itchy skin, elephant skin, inflammation, inflammation becomes body-wide. And this is what contributes to eczema. This is very painful. You know how much pain it is to uncontrollably rip your skin apart every night? Have you ever slept but not sleep? I know how it feels. I've had it for 10 years. Having eczema is like living in a tiny gap between life and death. It is extremely excruciating and painful. In 1950, corticosteroids were introduced and sold as inflammation suppressants to eliminate eczema. However, today, over 300 million people around the world are still imprisoned with eczema. Growing problem is Western medicine sees short-term stress and long-term stress the same stress and provides the same useless solution. But it makes money. We need to change that. We need to stop covering up stress with steroids. We need to find a real solution and address the root causes between our long-term stress in order to find a full and effective solution to reverse this autoimmune disease. Ladies and gentlemen, join my mission and change the 300 million painful lives around the world. Thank you.